fam, go to the search bar, put in Cutter's Pizzeria, and you'll find all of their great products and deals right there on the site. Well, right here, coming back here on the Big Skin Roundup, we have Mark Everett Kelly back in the house. He was over at Jack Stewart Field tonight, over at Sachs High School, a really good Sachs football team, playing host against Oakman tonight. Tell us how it went over at Sachs. Yeah, hey, two teams with long winning streaks uh, together, getting together at, at Sachs tonight. Sachs are winners of eight straight, uh, hosting Oakman in the second round of the 3A playoffs, um, and it was uh, nice to see uh, the people out there. It was a little bit of, of a cold night, but uh, when Sachs is, is winning, they have a, a pretty good fan base, and they were definitely uh, excited about that game tonight. 100%. Let's go straight to those highlights from Jack Stewart Field tonight. And tell them how it went. So, winners of eight straight for Sachs entering this game. Oakman in the second round of the 3A playoffs. Oakman enters with seven straight wins as well as the two teams met for the first time ever. Oakman's first drive, facing third and 11. Junior quarterback Baylor Odom rolling out to avoid pressure. Find senior wide receiver Sean Douglas for the first down. Beautiful pass here, keeping the drive alive. Two plays later, second and 10. Senior running back Caden Marchbanks takes the direct snap and bursts through the line, running away from the defense. 35-yard touchdown run, extra point good, 7-0 Oakman. Sack's first drive after consecutive false starts put them in a second and 15. Wildcats quarterback Sean Purnell connects with senior wide receiver Sean Elson on a 15-yard completion and a first down. Later in the drive, second and six is the 24. Senior running back Ricky Garrett, who's very, very physical running back, regains his footing here, breaks to the outside, reaching for the goal line. And, uh, out of the two. That leads to Parnell taking it in from two yards out. The big bulldozing quarterback here plowing through. Sack stop trying for two, seven, six, Oakland. Oakland's next drive, second and 10. March Banks takes the direct snap again, and he fools the cameraman and everyone else. Breaks away from the defense into the open. His second long, there he is. His second long TD run is one from 59 yards. Senior running back at 125 yards on 11 first half carries and two touchdowns. Sachs gets the ball back. Second and nine. Parnell finds Zakari Streeter for a 22 yard gain, extending the drive. Later on, the final play, the senior co quarterback culminates 10 play to 82 yard drive with a five yard touchdown run here. Two point conversion ties the game. Parnell 10 carries, 49 yards, and two TDs in the first half. Oakman trying to answer the next drive. Fourth and one from the 43. Odom is stopped. Shy of the first down, giving the ball back to Sachs as the time is running out in the first half. Very next play, the quarterback Parnell reminds me a little bit of a quarterback. He used to play for Kentucky. Parnell connects. Beautiful touch pass here to Elson. Once more, 57 yards. Parnell 3 5, 94 yards on one TD in the first half. Two point conversion makes it 22 14 Sachs. Wildcats hold on to win, 36 to 22, and advance to the third round for the second straight year, where they will take on Fife, who has like only outscored their opponents 77 to nothing in the first two rounds. Exactly, including <laughs> a big 43 spot today. It'll be a great one between. I think all the 3A North will be really interesting. You heard Coach Smith a little bit earlier for for uh, Piedmont talking about the great matchup they have next week with Winfield. Now you have a Sax and Fife matchup. Winners go into the, uh, the the 3A North Final. It should be a great one. I'm telling you, Sox can score. Yeah. I mean, they got some, uh, as, as Bill Pito would say, they got some skills exactly. on offense. Uh, and just to tell a story, uh, how they were able to put together those drives and sustain those drives, mm -hmm. they got a very good running game. Uh, Garrett's a very physical running back. For sure. He really is. And they also have McGann, too. McGann's another physical player. And then you add in Parnell. Parnell can just do a number of things. So that makes Sachs very good, and they're, they're going to be a team to record with. I don't know if they can beat Fife, but then again, they beat Geraldine pretty bad right. in a game I saw them, and Geraldine beat Fife. So, hey, if the Jets can beat the Bengals, anything can happen. You say that uh, you can't do, like, the whole transitive property. If you do that in college football, <laughs> then you'll have the, <laughs> yeah. the worst team beating the best team. Well, Texas and, and beats and Alabama. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and I think the same thing exists here in high school football yep. as well. Anything can happen. Both Jonathan Miller from Sachs and Steve Smith from Piedmont. Big matchups next week to see who goes on to represent the 3A North in that 3A North Championship game. Keep it right here. We'll close it up on the Pixie and Roundup, brought to you by Team One Automotive. If you need a new vehicle and think you can't get financing, Team One can help. If you make 350 a week, Team One can finance you. 
cars, trucks, and SUVs. Team One can finance you. Log on. DriveTeam1.com. What's in your driveway? I was finally ready to buy my first home after renting for the last several years. As I started my search, I got overwhelmed by how many websites and confusing listings there are. That's when I found the experts at ERA King. To me, ERA means expertise, reliability, and activity. I depended on them to find a home in my budget, and they didn't stop working until the keys were in my hands. ERA King. To us, it means always doing the right thing for every client. What will ERA mean to you? Find out at eraking.com. Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money, so we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Right now at Ted's Abbey Carpet and Floor, the keyword is free. Buy any type of flooring at Ted's Abbey Carpet and Floor and we'll install it absolutely free. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, laminate, or vinyl, get it professionally installed absolutely free. Why pay to have your new floor installed when you can have it installed absolutely free and get 0% financing for an entire year? That's right, free interest for an entire year and free installation. That's Ted's Abbey Carpet and Floor's free installation sale going on right now. Hey guys, you drive a truck? At Team One, we got trucks. Colorado, Silverado, Ram, Tacoma, Tundra, and the all new Titan. Log on, driveteam1.com. What's in your driveway? Hi folks, Angie Stevens here. Did you know that Team One Automotive employs more families than any other dealership in Northeast Alabama? We're proud to be the leader in serving this area simply by the number of employees we have on board. And we're looking for career-minded people to join us. So if you're interested in a long-term employment opportunity, come in and see any of our Team One dealerships for more information. So check us out now and apply online at TeamOneConnect.com. We were looking to sell our starter home and move into our dream home. After looking at all the options, we chose to work with ERA King. ERA means easy, responsive, and attention to detail. ERA King made the entire process of buying and selling a house easy. From helping us decide on a listing price to navigating the final closing, our agent worked with us every step of the way. ERA King. To us, it means always doing the right thing for every client. What will ERA mean to you? Find out at eraking.com. Since 1848, First Bank of Alabama has been dedicated to our customers and excellence in all areas. With constant improvements to our facilities, to adding new products and services to better serve you, our team is fully engaged in all the communities we serve. First Bank of Alabama knows that time is money, so we offer hometown services with advanced technology that allows you to bank on your own schedule. We want to be your community bank, so stop by. Come see us at First Bank of Alabama, where you're always first. Hey guys, you drive a truck? At Team One, we got trucks. Colorado, Silverado, Ram, Tacoma, Tundra, and the all new Titan. Log on, driveteam1.com. What's in your driveway? If you need a new vehicle and think you can't get financing, Team One can help. If you make 350 a week, Team One can finance you. Cars, trucks, and SUVs, Team One can finance you. Log on, driveteam1.com. What's in your driveway? Welcome back to the Pixie Roundup, brought to you by Team One Automotive. Our closing segment here, first off, Anna Catherine and Mark, let's just talk about this night overall. We've been able to not only see some football, but hear these score, scores roll in, find out who's moving on to the quarterfinal round. I'll ask you both to start with you, Mark, about your overall observations from this evening and from the third round. Well, I think from the game I saw, the diversity of the Sox offense is something I was really impressed with. Mm -hmm. and I, again, being my first year down here, not really used to high school football in Alabama. Uh, the passing game, uh, again, 3 for 5, 94 yards in the first half uh, for Parnell. And the physical abusive running style for both Parnell um, and Garrett, I thought was very impressive. And I think Sachs is a, a bit of an underdog here. They could probably make some noise as it moves on later. I don't know. Like, them and Fife, that really intrigues me because of what they did to Garfield. Mm-hmm. I agree. Joke, my bit. Right, Gary, I'm thinking of cats. <laughs> Absolutely agree. I think I've mentioned it a lot. I was really impressed by the Piedmont defense tonight. Um, and also, 
Parker just overall with a win over Alexandria. Yeah, we saw that earlier, and you saw that right here on – TV24 and WEAC, Parker and Alexandria, and, and Parker pulling off, I think, one of the better, the bigger upsets. The, the, these stats that I'm about to read to you brought to you <laughs> by our main man, Buckethead, who told us a minute ago, Khalifa Keith, over 400 all-purpose wow. yards, 200 yards on the ground, six touchdowns in that football game. You rarely see an opponent come to Death Valley yeah. and come and play the way that that guy played. I also like the way Piedmont played and the way kind of Piedmont's playing right now from a momentum standpoint Absolutely. as we move forward. So that's my next question to you as we go on. Mm. Now that we know, for the most part, we know all of the, the situations and the matchups for next week, what are you most looking forward to? My favorite question is if you could clone yourself two or three times, what games would you attend in this quarterfinal round and semifinal round in 7A? I have no doubt Thompson at home. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think you have two of the, the elite programs getting head-to-head. Head, head, head Hoover barely escaped. So they, they, they get their matchup, and I think this is what everybody looks at. When you have two teams that are na nationally ranked playing on the same state, that's something to look forward to. Exactly. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's probably one of the most exciting games next week. I'm really interested to see Woodland and Wadley play. They're in yeah. the same region. They've played already, and now they're playing in the third round. Woodland barely slipped into the playoffs, <laughs> and here they are in the third round. So exciting to see if they continue with this playoff momentum. Exactly. I think one of the things that the more interesting part about that Woodland-Wadley matchup is you mentioned it. It's, it's the fact that they came into this game or they came into the playoffs Winning just enough games yes. to make it to the playoffs. They they won three games. They were one the, and four coming and, out of the same region. Correct, exactly. But they, they won what they needed to, and now here they are, finding themselves in the third round of the playoffs against a team that it will be heavily favored, I'm sure, in that matchup, yes. Wadley. But you never know. They pulled a two, two upsets so far. I think the ones that I'm uh, – I'll do kind of a, a split one because mine will be all 3A North next week. You have yeah. uh, Piedmont and Winfield, and you have both Sacks and Fife as well. How about 76-70? Yeah, I mean, right. we're talking like <laughs> yeah. Doug Moe Denver Nuggets of the 1980s. Uh -huh. Might as well put Alex Ingles out there. I, I mean, that was really impressive for it. There were not going to be many high school basketball scores that reached that. Exactly. Spring Garden also moving into that next round. And we'll also let you know that we will be back next week for our final show here on the Pigskin Roundup. We will have all of our local scores and in, in highlights. We'll also try to get you a lot of the matchups as we go now into the semifinal round, which we will be going into coming up after next week. All the winners will be marching on into the semifinal round. We'll also get some participants, whether it's coaches, getting you into what they're going on in the locker room as they get ready for yet another big week of football here in the state of Alabama. For Mark Everett Kelly, for Anna Catherine Alderman, I'm Gerhard Mazzangani. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Pigskin Roundup, brought to you by Team One Automotive. Coming up next, it's our buddies, Buckethead and the King. They got a great show. Call in. It's always entertaining. We'll see you next week right here on the Pigskin Roundup, brought to you by Team One Automotive. Hi, folks. Angie Stevens here. Did you know that Team One Automotive employs more families than any other dealership in Northeast Alabama? We're proud to be the leader in serving this area simply by the number of employees we have on board. And we're looking for career-minded people to join us.